guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel thank you guys for clicking on this video and i really appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button down below and that will get you updates on whenever i upload videos and today's video is going to be on this chocolatey eyes and chocolatey lips kind of look um i got inspired because i just got the jeffree star dominatrix lipstick and i was just like i gotta do something brown i gotta do something chocolatey and warm because you guys all know i am a warm girl i love warm shadows and I use my Morphe 35O palette yes and so it's going to be a makeup look on that and like I said if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you're not subscribed to any of my other social media like Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter I'll leave all those names down below make sure you guys follow me on there and if you guys want to see how I created this look then just keep watching. So first off, I'm going to go in with my primer potion in Eden, and I'm just gonna put that all over my eyes to ensure that my shadows will last all day and not crease. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite eyeshadow potions um, from Urban Decay and also my favorite primer. I really, really, really like this primer. Up next, I'm gonna go in with Soft Peach from Anastasia uh, Shadow Couture Palette, and I'm just gonna put that all over my eyes to set that. So when I go in with my first color, it won't skip, it can go on just a bit. And now I'm going into my E35 O palette from Morphe and I'm just gonna take these two bottom shades right here and I'm just gonna mix those two and I'm going to use these for my um, transition shade. And the transition shade is just a shade that you wanna put down to um, make all the other colors blend into. Usually these are browns, warm colors, and things like that. So just gonna place this down in above my crease area. Again from this same palette, I'm going to go in with this maroon kind of burgundy color and I'm going to put this directly under that in my crease socket. Um, I want this look to be a gradient effect so I'm going to start from light and go down to darkest. So basically I'm just putting this right inside of my crease area and blending it out. And now going in with a darker, darker brown shade. Um, I'm gonna put this again right underneath that, right by that socket again. I'm just gonna put that right on top and then I'm just gonna blend that out. And this is gonna start the, the brown for the lid. So I'm just gonna put that in there and blend that out and then show wipe motion. And now going into this uh, medium kind of beige color, and I'm just going to place this for my brow bone highlight. Um, I really like these bone shades, these matte shades for my brow bone, but you can definitely put a shimmer color up there. I'm more of a matte girl. So you just want to put this right above that transition color, right on the brow bone, and blend that out. And now taking the fudge shades from the... Um, what is that shadow couture palette and I'm just gonna place this on my lid and I'm gonna place it right up to that brown that I laid that last brown from the 35O I'm just gonna place that right up to that color and a little bit over the lid and then I'm gonna go back in and you'll see me blending that out to make sure there's no harsh lines everything is seamless and well blended and I'm just gonna pack this on until I get the color that I want And now I'm just going back into the 35O palette and using that orange to brighten up my crease area. I want it a little bit brighter, so I'm just going to use this in windshield wiper motion. And now for my face, I'm going to moisturize with my Cetaphil. I really love this moisturizer. It's very, very smooth and it leaves my skin feeling so soft. 
And for liner, I use the Illamasqua liner in black. And then for my lashes, I use the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies and I just stack them. So basically, I'm just going to rub this into my face and make sure it's well moisturized um, because I have dry skin. And going in with my Nivea Post Shave Balm, I'm using this for my primer and I love this as a primer. And I'm just um, rubbing this on my face the same way I did my moisturizer. I'm just gonna put this all over my face and make sure my skin is well primed. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite, 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 favorite foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Well Foundation. I really, really love this foundation. And it is time for me to get another bottle, but I'm gonna use every little drop that I have, and I'm just putting this on my face with the Beauty Blender. I'm taking my Fawn um, LA Girl Concealer, and I'm just gonna use this to highlight the high points of my face under my eyes, which is my nose, chin, top of lip, forehead, you guys know the deal. And then I'm just gonna take a Beauty Blender by Real Techniques, and I'm just gonna blend that out. And as you guys see me here, I'm blending it out. I put way, way, way too much. But as you're going to see here, I'm just going to keep blending. Um, you, with the sponge, it's a great thing about the sponge because you can just wet it and it just blends everything so seamlessly because I definitely, definitely put too much. But in the end, you'll see that once I blended it in, it didn't look as bad as it did. But just give me a second and I'm just going to blend all that away. And next, going in with the infamous Ben Nye Banana Powder, I'm just going to use this to set all my highlighted areas that I highlighted, which is, you know, under the eyes and blotty body. Blotty body, guys know the deal. Um, I've decided to go back to this um, while I'm out of my Laura Mercier, but I'm really glad I did. I forgot how good this powder was, so I'm just basically setting um, where I highlighted. Taking my CoverGirl foundation in the shade True Ebony and I'm just going to use this to contour my face and I just put it on the sides of my cheekbones a little bit on my forehead and I didn't contour my nose in this video. Um, I'm really iffy about contouring my nose. Sometimes I contour it and sometimes I don't and here you just see me trying to blend that out. Um, it was a hard day for makeup and it just didn't look right to me so I'm going to be blending this out. I'm just going to keep going back and forth and playing with it and trying to blend this out. And here I'm just taking my uh, Black Radiance Powder in Ebony I think it is and I'm just basically just setting where I contoured and when you lose a liquid you always want to set your liquid and me I just set mine just because I don't want to I don't want it to move I would rather it just be set so anything that's liquid you want to make sure that you set it and here you just see me trying to blend that out and then I just threw my hands up because I'm like I'm done messing with it I'm done so I'm just going to take my true match face powder and I'm just going to set that and then I'm going to try to blend in that contour because it's not looking right to me but I'll get it in the end guys and then right here is when I noticed I had this long streak on the side of my face so I had to go in with my elf stippling brush and just blend that out like it just blended away and then I'm just going to set that again and just make sure everything is blended with my face powder brush from Real Techniques and I'm basically just blending everything together making sure everything is melted together and blended in. And then I'm gonna take my CoverGirl um, Ebony Bronze Bronzer and I'm just gonna warm up the face a little bit, bring a little bit more life back into my face. After all the foundations and the powders and things, I just wanna bring a little bit of life back into my face. Going in with my Make A Revolution brush, blush, <laughs> in nude and I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques blush brush to apply that to the apples of my cheekbones and blend that out a little bit with my contour. I really, really, really love this blush. It's $5 and I got this from my Ulta. Um, if you haven't tried Makeup Revolution, it's a great affordable brand and you can find it online or in Ulta. And then I'm just gonna go back and make sure everything is blended together. 
and I'm gonna do a little dance, do a little dance. <laughs> so now I'm taking my favorite highlighter at the moment, Laura Gala Gillet Honey, on this tapered brush um, by e.l.f. And I'm just gonna spray that with a little Fix Plus and bam, look at that glow. Yes, honey. Yes, give it to me. Come through, Laura, come through. Yes, and I love this highlighter, guys. If you haven't tried this highlighter, I'm gonna need y'all to go pick it up. And then going back into that Anastasia um, palette, I'm going to use that fudge again. And I'm just going to um, put this on the bottom lower lash line. All the colors that I use at the top, basically, is I'm going to match it to the bottom. And I'm just going to smoke out that bottom lash line. And for mascara, I'm just going to go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This mascara is so bomb. Like, I fell in love with it all over again. And I'm just going to use it to coat my bottom lashes and blend my top lashes into my falsies. And like I said, I really, really love this. And guys, I lost the clip for my lips, but I used the NYX Espresso Liner and Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipstick in Dominatrix. I hope you guys love this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video.